for those of you who are in technical analysis, you should understand or accept the fact that uh, the market never moves straight up or straight down, but they move in waves while continuing continuing to move up or down. And in this, in such waves, it forms valleys and peaks. So on this particular chart, on this particular example, when you look at it, okay, this is a peak you are seeing and this is a valley you are seeing. So <clears throat> when you are able to identify uh, a, a, a precise uh, valley and a peak, then your trading decisions would be much, much more easier and much more simpler to handle. That means if I see, uh, if I've already seen a, a peak, so the next uh, move should be, I should see a valley form. The formation of this valley should be formed. Then only you can see a, 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 a peak forming again. So that that's, uh, so it's very simple to follow that uh, that uh, uh, statement, right? So now, <clears throat> now I'm going to explain to you, basically the market moves or the trend directions are denoted by a short-term valley or short-term peak. Uh, we call it a mid-term uh, valley or mid-term peak or even a, a long-term valley or long-term peak. So basically, uh, in simple, uh, this is what uh, makes the market uh, uh, signals happen and this is what you use it to see whether the market has reversed up or reversed down. So when you do that, <coughs> when, you a when you are able to identify the valley and peak with ease, then chances are, you know, you would not be in the wrong direction or wrong side of the market. <coughs> so, uh, am I going too fast? You know, if you feel that I am going too fast, please tell me, you know, I can slow down a bit. But if, if you are, if you are um, happy with my speed, then I can keep on carrying on with it. All right? Okay. <coughs> Thank you very much. All right? So, please try to uh, be um, as interactive as possible so that, you know, we can make uh, the session uh, more interesting. Okay, now I'm going to give you some guidelines or some rules to identify uh, when do we see a short-term valley, right? So when do we know whether the short-term valley has already been seen or not yet? Okay, I'm, I'm going to give you these conditions. <coughs> a short-term valley is identified when the low of a bar has higher lows on both sides. That means after after you have seen a, 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 a peak, okay, let's say the price is falling down, okay, we do not know when the market has turned until you see a short-term valley. So what happens is you have to wait for the price to give you a short-term valley confirmation, then you can go long. So in other words, <clears throat> the same example which I used before, you know, when I was talking about this uh, uh, Fibonacci uh, levels because you do not know which level is going to hold because this is where uh, most traders go on the wrong side or the wrong direction of the market because they feel that the low is already seen then they go for a buy then the market breaks lower and lower and as a result they get uh, stopped out most of the time unnecessarily so here <coughs> the condition for to identify a short term valley is after the prolonged downtrend that means you know when the price is making lower lows and lower highs Okay, the moment when you see a higher lows forming on both sides of the lowest low, right? Then the bar C has formed a higher low when compared to bar B. Hence, we consider that this is a signal of a valley formation, right? Again, this is not a confirmation. This is the first signal the price is giving you, uh, or first indication that is giving you that the market is going to reverse. This is just like, again, I'm giving you an example of a driving. See, uh, for those of you who are driving, especially when you are following uh, uh, another vehicle, <clears throat> when the driver in front of you gives you an indicator or t uh, tells you and uh, puts an indicator saying that he's going to turn right, there's no 100% guarantee that he's going to turn right. Sometimes, at the nick of the time, he may decide that he wants to go straight and he can keep on going straight, right? But the same thing goes on the price. So, this is the first indication that tells you that the price is going to turn. So you have to take note or get yourself prepared that, you know, we have to get ready to buy or long because the short term value is going to be seen. The second condition is <clears throat> when the low of the bar has equal lows on both sides of the lowest low. That means the lowest low is bar B and C, right? So when you have equal lows on, 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 on the lowest low and when you have a 
the bar D, which has formed a higher low when compared to uh, bar B and C. Hence, we consider that this is a signal for a valley formation. Again, this is again this is just a signal. That means the the price is giving you an indication or or putting an indicator saying that it is going to turn up. So this is what is going to happen, right? So now I am going to give you a confirmation. That means <coughs> when do we know that the market has reversed or the market has turned direction? The condition to fulfill <coughs> to to see a confirmation of a turn is a valley is confirmed when only when the price closes above the high of bar A. That means you, you are looking at the lowest bar B. That means when the price has made a lowest bar, you look one bar before. That means you know the moment once you push uh, one level, that means you take the pre previous bar and you have to wait for the price to close above that high of that bar so when you see that condition then we can confirm that the low has already been seen now the price is going to go higher and we can get ready to pull the trigger to go for a buy or long so this is what you have to this is the signal you need to look for to see yourself that whether you know the market has reversed the next condition the second condition which i gave you you know you have equal lows and at the moment when you see uh, uh, the higher lows of the lowest low, and when when you see the price closing above the bar A, right? Once the price closes above uh, the bar A uh, bar A high, then this is a confirmation that <coughs> the market has bottom or the market has made a short term valley, right? <coughs> Just give me a minute. Um, so far, uh, is it clear? You know, uh, if you feel if you want to repeat. I can repeat it because this message has to be uh, get it through so that you know uh, when you go to the next level because the next level gets a bit more complex. So you know I, I don't want to uh, yourself to get confused, right? Okay, thank you. <coughs> so again, it should be noted that it should be waiting for the confirmation. So once this confirmation is seen, um, you can confirm that uh, a short term valley is already seen. <coughs> then you can expect the price to go higher so let's look at this so now this is the valley here so sometimes what happens is see in real market condition uh, it's not so clear as or so simple as what i have explained right so sometimes you have to wait the moment you see uh, a few bars within the lowest low what should you do is you have to wait for one more bar which is higher than the the lowest low so you have to wait for this particular bar and you have to wait for this price to close above this side sometimes what happens is the price might break above this and it might have a false break then the price might still <coughs> follow on that means uh, still makes lower low so on this particular uh, example what happens is we have to wait for this uh, price to clear i mean uh, clear and close above this high and the moment once it's closed so this is the confirmation that a short term valley is seen and you see the price starting to uh, move higher so <clears throat> this is again this is another example because you must understand that a valley is formed then a weak uh, a peak is formed then a valley is formed so it goes on alternate uh, and this is how the market moves and once you are able to identify this simple logic and once you are able to uh, know this simple logic things might might be very clear and you can you can you can take your trading decisions with ease right <laughs> so here again you see the price is making uh, lower lows this is the lowest low and we have to wait you know in fact we have one two three bars within that uh, uh, the lowest low right so what you have to do is we have to wait for the one more bar which is higher than this in fact this bar is the highest and we have to wait for this price to close above and once it closed then you started the price you see the price moving higher or the price has turned 